All right, so I'd like to welcome everyone to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that I think is the bane of the existence for many people in an engineering or process manufacturing environment, which is time studies. Uh, time studies, the words sometimes <laughs> bring a bit of a cringe to my face when someone brings them up. So I think that this utility is very useful and I hope that it helps some of you guys out. I've made this utility so it can also be used with a tablet or a touch interface to make that even more versatile. So what we're looking at here is something that allows you to simply click start, stop and it will log the data in this over here and that's what many people think of when they think of a time study a log of data and then an average on the right we have seconds and minutes for you however the part of the equation that not a lot of people i don't think think about especially at an amateur level is the second half which is exactly what you're now seeing these three other columns which is the accuracy of your measurement Knowing the accuracy of your measurement is extremely important, especially if you're presenting this data to a boss or manager or facility manager who might be relying on the information you're providing to make some pretty costly decisions. Buying very expensive equipment, even hiring new personnel could be based on the numbers you're presenting and you need to know to what accuracy those numbers are. Right now we have two measurements. They're exactly on at two seconds. Our standard deviation is zero. We have fairly, I'll say, good confidence, although we only have two runs. I'd recommend, obviously, collecting a larger sample size before even looking at this data. If we then throw, well, a measurement of zero in there by accident, or a measurement of five, now our 95% confidence interval on this measurement goes way, way up. Our standard deviation shot through the roof and now through these four measurements we're only confident to within 1.7 seconds on a three second measurement which is as you can tell a fairly useless measurement if we go again add another data set to this maybe confirm our four seconds or around five seconds it's starting to become a little more accurate but again still not if you're really, really trying to pinpoint this, you're going to be wanting to take many, many samples on this set. Now we're only confident to 1.04 seconds. So the other utility I've added is, how long am I going to have to be doing this for? Well, if I want this accuracy on a three, approximately 3 second measurement to 0 0.5 seconds, we're going to need about 104 samples. Now obviously this will keep recalculating as you continue to record samples and it, it might eventually decrease. But this is a very, very good thing to know. Reconfirming around that four second mark now takes it down to 90 runs, etc, etc. I also have, as I said before, this minutes column here and you can immediately compare with how many runs you require to how many runs you've already completed. So I'm going to have this Excel template available for download in the description. The site I'm using is extremely reputable. I've used it to upload and download and share many things before and it's worked fantastically. So certainly check that link out. And once you've downloaded and used this template, add into the comments below what you use this template for. I think it would be fantastic to hear everyone's experiences and share what we're using this template for around the world. It would bring a smile to my face to know that other people are using this. So thanks for tuning into this video guys, I hope that it served not just as uh, an explanation of this Excel template that's available for download, but also as a bit of a PSA on how important it is to be presenting accurate data and be confident in the data that you're presenting. So I hope this helps you to do that, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.